Hello everybody. Hi, how are you? How are you doing this evening? Feeling good about yourself, you know? Pretty happy? Nothing in your day has gone wrong? Well, welcome to round three of some more of my terrible, repulsive, send chills down your spine opinions on video games. To start it off, Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle is the best Mario RPG ever. Fuck, Le fuck Legend of the Seven Stars. Fuck all the Paper Marios. Fuck all the Mario and Luigi's. This is the best. And as you know, I am someone on the internet, so my opinion is the only one that matters. Argue with me all you want in the comments. I don't read them. With that opinion out of the way, something that has kind of struck me as odd recently is how, me is how many Sonic games have had their opinions turned around in recent years. For example, people now like Sonic 06, people hate Sonic Colors, People love Sonic Unleashed, that's been kind of the standard now. People are still torn on some of the earlier 3D Sonic games, and uh, people are defending Sonic Forces for some reason. I have plans to do an entire review on how much I don't like this game, but uh, as of now, since now people are defending Sonic Forces, I might as well give my opinion. I don't like this game. This is my top 10, I, this is in my top 10 least favorite Sonic games, and I don't like those games that are in that top 10. Well, well, I don't like the ones that are in the top 5 worst Sonic games, in my opinion. Again, I haven't played all of them, just I've played enough to know this is somewhere in the top 10. Not in the top 5, because the top 5 is the, for the most repulsive games ever made. And this is just in the top 10. Next up, I might as well say, Mario Kart Wii, alongside Mario Kart Super Circuit, are the worst Mario Karts in the entire series, period. Why is this? The bad game. That's it. Just plain and simple. Super Circuit is the same reason. I don't like them. I'd rather play Super Mario Kart. And I don't like that game very much. Next up, let's talk Animal Crossing. All you Animal Crossing fans are going to be very mad at this one. I don't like New Horizons. I think this game is terrible. I think it's a 4 out of 10 if I'm being completely honest with myself. Why do I say such revolting things? Very simple. The, the first Animal Crossing I ever played was New Leaf. I like New Leaf. In my opinion, out of the two Animal Crossings I've played, this is, if that was the best one. This is the worst. But the problem is, there's no replay value to New Horizons. To New Horizons, I mean. Even if you include all the DLC and all of the free updates, there's no replay value here. Yeah, you could say the same thing about New Leaf, but... Animal Crossing is one of those series to where the first game you play is typically the only game you'll play. You might play one or two of the other entries that either came before or after it, but, uh... Yeah, this game blows. Next up, let's piss off some more Sonic fans, shall we? I think Sonic Mania is kind of boring, so let me explain. When I first got my Nintendo Switch, Sonic Mania was the first, and at the time, the only game I had. I would later get, like, Forces, Mario Odyssey, and Smash Brothers, but Mania was the first game I got. I spent over, like, 200 hours on it, and, uh... And all that time playing, I just got very bored with the game as time went on. Like, I'd still pop it in every now and then to, like, replay it, and eventually... I completely 100%ed it. Yeah, completely. Every save file, every metal, gold... I just got bored with the game. Like, seriously, like, the Encore mode is cool and all, but that's nothing. Like, the fact that Mighty and Ray are extra playable characters, yeah, that's great, but... As far as actually new content that should have been added to this game, they should have added, like, a few more zones. Like, yeah, I never played a Mania, I just got Mania Plus, as that was the only physical one that was out. But still, even then, 
I just find this game boring now. And speaking of opinions involving Sonic Mania, I'll get the entire community in uproar. I think Sonic Advance 1 specifically and 2 are better than Mania. Now let me, and just in general, better than the entire classic series of games, 1, 2, 3, and CD. Now, why do I say that? Very simple. This is a this is an evolution. This is just more of the same. This takes everything that this and the original classic games did and made it better, refined them in almost every way. Yeah, Sonic Advance 1, it has its issues. It's kind of short. The Chaos Summons are complete bullshit. But each character now having Amy playable, which none of the classic games had, aside from like a few spin-offs. In Sonic Advance, we got four playable characters, a tiny Chow Garden. The Chaos Summons are bullshit, and you can't play Super Sonic outside the final boss. But, um... Yeah, other than that, the level design, the music. This pretty much topped all the classic games in every way. So, uh, yeah, boring. Better than all the classics. Let's move on before more people hate me. Sonic Heroes and Shadow the Hedgehog are both very underrated games. More so Shadow. Ignore the box art. I had to do that myself because I couldn't find the full game in, a, in the proper case. But Sonic Heroes I'm mixed upon. I both like it. I both hate it. It's the player choice copy, so you know I hate myself. But as for Shadow, I like it a lot more than I hate it. And honestly, I don't see why people are so strong on defending either one of these games or so strong on hating either one of these games. I like them. I'll play them every now and then. But, yeah, I'm not going to devote any time to completing them. Like, I might do Heroes, all four stories, and then the last story, Shadow, I might pop in every now and then. But, um, keep on the trend of bad Sonic opinions here. Any of you remember Sonic 3? Like, not Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Sonic 3 is a standalone game. I put that somewhere in my top 10 least favorite Sonic games. It's exactly number 10. But, um, why do I say that? Very simple. I'll go into that in, in another video. Same with Sonic and Knuckles. As a quick, like, recap, for some reason, Sonic 3 was the one with the save files when it should have been Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, the special stages in Sonic 3 are piss easy alongside the rest of the game. Uh, Sonic and Knuckles is not piss easy. Which, again, from the very first zone, you can tell that is not an entire standalone game. That is a half of a game. And just in general, even when you... Just in general, the difficulty feels off balance in both versions. Like, there was very clearly something missing that should have been there. Now, with that opinion out of the way, let's talk about that this is... Let's just talk about the fact that this is my favorite Sonic game. Yes, Rise of Lyric is my favorite Sonic game. And now that I've ruined your day, I bid you adieu.